Welcome to a video on connecting the OnePlus watch. This is the Harry Potter edition to the OnePlus health app on a OnePlus and non OnePlus phone. OnePlus watch needs an initial pairing to the OnePlus health app to start working. If you switch on the watch without preparing your phone for pairing, you will be stuck at this screen until you pair it with the OnePlus health app. Let's start by installing the app. Search for the app in Play Store and install it. The OnePlus Health app currently weighs around 84 MB, but on the plus side, this is the sole app you need for enabling the entire functionality of the watch like notifications and continuous syncing of activity data. I will skip ahead of the installation. Once you finish, open the app. First screen is the OnePlus Health statement which is sort of a distilled info page on permissions. You need to agree to continue. Next is the option to enroll in user experience program, which in reality is a non-threatening way to ask for anonymous user data. You can join or skip this by pressing later. I will skip this for now. Now you need to log in to a OnePlus account. As this is a OnePlus 6 phone, OnePlus account is integrated deeply and you just need to select the account and press OK. Even if you are not on a OnePlus phone, logging in is easy and I will show you that in a bit. I will log in with my account now. If you want to use a different account, you can add it from this screen. This one is just an info page saying that the app can now access your OnePlus account info. Now is the time for giving permissions. Location permission is a must. I will show you what happens if you don't give this location permission at this point. The activity data you see on the screen is my activity that was recorded before I reset the watch for this video. There are three places in OnePlus Health app from where you can add a device if you have not added any. First is in the Health tab, other two are placed in the Manage tab. If you want to add a second device, the plus icon will be all that you have to add it. Now is the time to switch the watch on. Long press on the function key located at the bottom to switch it on. After two loading screens, one with the OnePlus logo and the other with the Harry Potter logo, you will reach the language selection screen. Select the language of your choice from the list and you will reach the pairing screen. Once you are at the pairing screen on the watch, you can start adding the device to the OnePlus Health app using one of the places I mentioned earlier. To start the pairing process, you need to further confirm that you are in fact seeing the pairing screen on the watch. Now this permission will be skipped if you had given the location permission previously. Go to the settings and give the permission to continue pairing. Now that the permissions are set, the app will search and ask you to select your device. Confirm by clicking on the tile with your device name on it. The pairing process uses Bluetooth and this step is just like adding a new Bluetooth device. You do not need to allow contact and call history right away, but I am going to give it as further along the process, your watch needs the access to make and manage calls. Tap on pair and within a few seconds, the watch will be paired. A confirmatory green tick and vibration will be present on the watch as an indicator of successful pairing. You need to accept the terms and conditions. Tap on the declaration and then tap continue. Like I said a minute ago, you will be asked for phone, contact and call log permissions. You can allow or skip depending on whether you want to be notified of make and receive calls. And to receive notifications on your phone, you need to give notification access to the OnePlus Health app. This is a closely guarded permission which explains the extra step in enabling it.
select the preferred wrist mine is left now all the settings will be synced with the watch and while you wait you can learn the basics of how the watch works swipe left for the tiles up for notifications and down for settings i'll just show them all once the setup got completed in between The last screen shows steps to take to protect your data and smooth syncing of data between your devices. The manage tab is now populated by settings to control the watch. It shows the current watch phase and battery percentage. If you change the watch phase, almost instantaneously it gets reflected on the app. And that concludes the guide to connect a OnePlus phone with the OnePlus Health app. Even if you are using a non OnePlus phone, the steps are almost similar except that you need to manually log in to the OnePlus account. All the other steps are the same and the watch will work smoothly with a non OnePlus phone as it does with a OnePlus phone. This is the login screen to the OnePlus account and it is the only additional step in the process. Once you are past that, you will be back to the familiar territory. That's it with this video. Thanks for watching. Have a happy day.